right um this is Glenda and today I wanted to show you my attempt I still don't know how this is gonna work out at building a wire cutter for a slab soap and what I have here it's um, this used to be a warm composter bin I, I didn't actually use it as that and this part right here was actually the cover of it, the cover of the bin. And these other like legs, they actually were pieces that belonged to one of the drawers of the bin. And I removed them and then my husband helped me screw them in to make these sort of, I guess, legs or walls. My idea initially was to put a cutter through this so through this opening I will either put a wire or a knife and the wood was going to guide the knife so it will stay straight but I stopped working on it uh, because he actually gave me an actual sub cutter so I left this project behind but now I want to be able to cut like um, bigger soaps so that's what I'm revisiting this project what I have here is stainless steel wire. It's a very fine gauge, I will think. It's a 24 gauge. Um, I'm gonna try to find the receipt of where I bought this to tell you for sure. It's quite thin and I think I bought it from Amazon a while back for my jewelry making. And I'm going to be needing a wire cutter and um, needle nose plier. Or any other kind of pliers you ha you have may work for this. Now, luckily, these pieces of wood already have holes in it, so I'm just going to put the screws on there. Uh, my goal is to, you know, like I have this piece of soap right here. Like, okay, so this soap it's about let's see, two and a half inches tall and three and a half of um, width a little bit more so at this point I want to have I want to cut it this way so I want it to be three and a half or a little bit over these pieces of wood are not as tall as that they are like 3.25 so I'm going to put some screws and ideally I actually wanted to get the kind of screws that have like a, a hook so they're easier to uh, move you know to adjust because I don't want the wire to be tight in it the whole time I think I'm gonna put it on this one so for now I think is for what the soap that I want to cut today this will work but for the future next time I go to the hardware store I'm going to um, get the kind of screw that has a little hook so it's easier to manually tighten. Alright, I do have a screwdriver here. Now if you don't have pieces of wood like this laying around or stuff that you can use, you could also go to the hardware store and buy some pieces of wood and they will give you, at least I know that Home Depot will give you two cuts for free and then you pay um, 75 cents or so for they to cut anything, any pieces of wood to whatever size you need. Okay, so I'm going to measure and see if I have the height that I need or maybe I need to get taller screws. I think that should work just right. Um, what will be tricky is to make sure that they are even. So I'm gonna have to measure them better once I, I guess, once I have the wire in it. Now if I had a smaller piece, if this was like closer to here, I could probably cut it using something like this. This was another experiment I had. This is a door handle and I just wrapped the wire around it and to tighten it I just moved the screw in because the screw just goes in there and my plan was to use it like along the edge of something 
like if I, I but I needed something to guide the wire to keep it straight I also tried to do something like that with just copper wire and just holding it with my hands straight but this was more difficult to achieve so that may be some other idea if you happen to see a door handle that may work all right, so I measure both sides and I got the screws to be at around the same height. So now that I need to find the end of the wire. Really messy. Usually when you buy it though, it comes in a nice pool and it's not all crinkled like this. Okay, I did find one end. All right. So I have, I just need about this much and these parts that are not straight I'm going to just straighten them with the pliers and I'm just going to wrap one end around at the tallest point of the screw so that it's right underneath. Let me see if I switch it over. It's going to be right underneath the head of the screw. So I'm going to start wrapping around the shorter side, but I'm going to move it back to this position. Now I'm going below and above. And now this one, which is the one that's going to come and cut, I'm going to turn it around to make sure that that one is the closest to the top as possible. And I'm, I'm pulling this quite strongly. And now I'm going to do the same on this other side. I'm making sure, and I'm pulling strong because I want tension here. So... As I pull, I start twisting in a very tight spiral because I want this to be straight as possible so it's not, the top is not twisted or it's not uneven. Okay, I'm going to cut it now over here. That's all I need. And depending on how, I'm going to leave it like this so I can uh, make adjustments later but I do want it out of the way so I don't poke myself with it and now it feels like it has some tension so I'm going to try to tighten this to see if I can make it even more t tense okay so far that seems to have worked so now I'm going to test it uh, to do that I think I'm going to try and find something that has the same height as this so that when I put the soap through it doesn't fall over and it doesn't change the angle but it stays straight. This might work but it's too tall. Alright so I found an album that is about the same height as the, the base of the cutter. I will be using this piece of plastic which is from a um, cutting board, the kind you can find at Dollar Tree to help the soap slide. So this is what my soap looks like, the shape, and this is uh, how I want to have it cut. So I'm going to just put it here on top of the plastic and now I'm just going to slide it through hopefully it turns out good okay now let's see Ah, there we go. Success, at least for now. Hold on. 
So that's my first cut. I have one more to go. And it looks like the process made my wire loose. So I need to tighten it. Initially, I was going to put the screws on this side and to have it adjusted on that end, but because these pieces of wood are too short, I had to do it on top. But I wonder if it will work better if they are here. And I was thinking if I made a smaller one and I didn't have a uh, bar cutter, if I just put it at a low height, every time I pass it, it will cut a bar, you know, a regular size bar. So I may experiment with that. Hi! I hope you liked the video and thank you for stopping by. If you are new, you can subscribe by clicking on the logo which will be somewhere in the screen. And if you are a returning visitor and you want to receive notifications of when I post a video, you can choose to do that by clicking on the bell um, somewhere down there. And I hope to see you next week. Bye.